Welcome to to enable. In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how to register. So you go to our website at www.toenable.org, and in this dialog is the register. So you type your first name, and I'm going to use a user called demo, and last name I'm going to call them user, and you type your email address. So this will be tablet at And I'm now clicking register, so I've given my first name, my surname, and an email address. And you can see it's asking for additional information. So anything that's in red is it insists that you complete these fields. If it's not in red, such as this one, it's not a mandatory field. So date of birth, I'm just going to pick a 1991, pick a date, 7th of May 1991, and choose male as a gender. You notice as you select the one field, it immediately jumps to the next. And here you can actually type South Africa, and you'll see it reduces the list to South Africa. Again, your free state, I mean your province, and um, choose free state. And preferred correspondence type refers to how would you prefer to receive your messages by SMS or by email. And I'm going to choose email. And my email address is tablet at impumamusic.org.za, which is what I filled in in the previous page. And in the mobile number, this is my cell phone number. And I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And an alternate cell number. Now, this is for users who are not allowed to take their devices to school, their mobiles to school. So when you forget your password, you can ask to have it sent to this number, but obviously if this phone is at home, you can't get your password. So this alternate cell number would be for your IT administrator or your teacher. So if ever you forget your password, you can in fact have the password code sent to this alternate cell number. Education institution is what school do you go to? So if you don't go to an education institution, you choose none. But if you do go to an education institution, you type the education. So you just begin typing the word. So I'm just going to pick a pick a school. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see if it'll what it throws up there. Porto Babelo. We'll pick that one in the free state. It's a complete guess that it was in the same province. And you once you've completed all the fields, you can then move on to the next page. The next page purely asks for a password. And you can see here it says the password must contain a number, a lowercase character, an uppercase character, and should be at least eight characters long. So I'm going to do precisely that. So that's my password, and I'm going to confirm my password here. And you can see here it's asking for a, a just ignore that message, E-T-W-A-Y-Z. And I'm going to click on the register button. If you can't read, read this, you can hit the refresh button there, and that will refresh this. So you can see here the W and the A are very difficult to distinguish. And um, in fact, I've got that incorrect. Now I'm going to register. Congratulations, you have successfully registered. And I'm now going to try and log in with those credentials at Puma Music to and I'm now going to log in. Checking my credentials, and there I am, demo user. There's my email address. I can edit my profile. I can change my password, and I can log out. And I'm going to log out, and that is how you register, and then you can log in with those same credentials. I hope that is uh, been useful to you.